Yo, hi guys, Kevin here, and welcome back to my Christmas countdown of car builds. And it is the 5th of December. Where is this month going? It's just disappearing right now. Um, last episode, we made this Volkswagen Corrado. And I'll ask you guys once again um, in the comments below, write what car you want to see in the next episode. If you want a certain theme with it as well, you can do. As the Corrado on the screen was, the theme was retro. I kind of tried to keep it retro slash clean. Um, it came out quite well, so I like that. And on to, on to the next one. Um, let me just find out who comment. Okay, the most rated comment was from Tactical Void. Um, he said Mazda RX-7 stock body kit. Okay, so basically there's not really a theme there, just quite literally a stock body kit, um, which I do prefer on the on the RX-7. So what I'm going to do is jump and buy this car, and then we can get into tuning this. Okay, so we're going to buy this a Mazda RX-7. Um, he said stock body kit, so there's not really a theme. Um, so I am going to keep uh, I'm going to keep the body kit. No. The colour, should I say, um, quite stock. Uh, manufacturer colours, white. Should we go for a white RX-7? I don't think I've ever made a white RX-7. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, so let's jump into the garage uh, right. where we can start so doing upgrades. Doing uh, custom upgrade. And uh, stock engine. I do like the two rotor, so I'm going to stick with that. There's also the four rotor, but the amount of power you get from that 690 horsepower, I think it's going to be a little bit overdone. You can also V8 it, uh, but... I I prefer to use the two rotor engine here. Okay, so drivetrain swap, we don't have to do that, so let's come out of here. Um, so it has a twin turbo as stock, so we could do a single single turbocharger, but uh, yeah, let's stick to the stock ways, I guess. Yeah, you know, seeing as we're sticking with the stock body kit here, um, let's stick with everything stock in there then, because that, that was requested, so onto the tyres. Uh, we're going to stick with uh, stock tyres there. Um, let's go 245s on the front. And on the rear is hopefully like 255s is there. And uh, 255s, there we go. So slap those on. A uh, nice little tyre ratio there. Um, Multi-piece rims, let's do it. Um, I looked at this section last time and it looked pretty nice. So hopefully there's some, some rims that suit this car to be honest. Um, I'm thinking they would suit it, but at the moment, they're the wrong colour. That is problem. Problem colour is... Yes, that language. Okay, they look quite nice. Okay, some multi-piece rooms. We don't really use them, so... We're in uncharted uh, territory here. Um, but let's, let's do... Um, I'm feeling... Feeling... I'm feeling these. I don't know why, I just like the chrome effect, uh, it seems to go well on the RX-7, especially when we slam the car, I think it's going to look a lot better, so let's just, oh, maybe not, let's go two um, up to 18s on the rim sides, uh, we don't want to go too crazy, but we want it uh, we, we want it to look pretty nice, so up to 18 inch on the rims there, uh, so you come out there and we're onto the drivetrain, okay, I'm really regretting those wheels now, uh, seeing them from another angle, they look really weird so if you're doing this I would suggest maybe some different rims uh, but let, let's see what they look like with the lower suspension it might help pull uh, pull them off so everything race in this section uh, so that was everything race so into platform and handling this is where the car is going to look a lot better uh, race brakes we can see those brake calipers poking and there we go okay maybe not I, I take that back they do look pretty sweet on there um, they really suit it, to be fair. Uh, so, race anti-roll bars as well. On both. Okay, let's put them on. Oh, why you do this? Oh, why? I always get, like, really annoyed at when it freezes and stuff. Uh, I just start spamming the button, and that really don't help. Um, let's do the race um, roll cage. And uh, weight reduction. Yeah... We're going to do that. Uh, takes it just under 1,100 kilograms. So it's pretty light car. Um, obviously the RX-7 is always going to be light. But yeah. Onto the power. Um, I'm thinking around the same bracket as the other cars to be honest. About 400 horsepower. Uh, should be about sufficient for this car. 
So race exhaust, uh, rotors and compression, let's upgrade this. This will be the main bit here. 371 horsepower there. Uh, that's good. Uh, if we do the intercooler and oil and cooling, it should take it to about 400 horsepower, which is about what we're going to need. So that's wicked. Um, I don't know if I like these wheels or not yet. They're just, I keep seeing them in like flashes like this and I can't make my mind up. Uh, they're different, but I don't know. I'm going to have to see like when I'm driving the car, I guess. Um, but that's all the upgrades on. Uh, about 400 horsepower. See, from that angle, they don't look too bad, but I don't know. I don't like the concave effect with the dish. Um, it looks pretty weird, but it's different. It looks a little bit stance. It's got the stock body kit, as asked. So, yeah, let's go with it. So, let's get back into free row. And let's start driving this car about um, without putting a tune on to see how it does actually perform at the moment. Okay, so let's get going. Oh, what a shock, the rain is coming down. Okay, so last episode we did head over to... What area did we go to? Um, we went to the industrial area, so... This episode we're going to stay around in Nice. Um, one thing I will say, Gear 3 is struggling. Why does it always rain on this game when I record? It's just always, always... Okay, but gearing's got to go a lot shorter. That is... I can't even like get sideways because gearing. Like, I don't want to change into gear 2 because that defies my whole uh, logic. Yeah, my logic's the worst logic ever. Drift in gear 3. <laughs> That's my logic right there. So yeah. let's tune the car. Okay, so obviously um, the tyres were not spinning up. Um, I want a little bit more grip in the front. So I'm going to leave the rears as they are. Um, obviously when I change the gear in, the tyres are going to spin up a lot easier. So... Let's just go to like 4.2 and see what that's saying. Okay, camber on the front, I'm going to leave pretty much the same. Uh, camber on the rear, I'm going to go a lot up. Um, Calster 5.5, anti-roll bars, let's just take up the rear a tiny smidge. Uh, springs, pretty nice to be honest. I like my cars quite stiff and they, they look pretty they look pretty, um, pretty sorted here. So let's just take it a tiny bit stiffer. Uh, ride height, let's go completely to the bottom. Damping, let's take the front up. And bump stiff, let's take the front up again. Brake, uh, differential, let's go 100% and 100%. Okay, there we go. So that's pretty much a very basic uh, bass tune. So let's see if it's spinning up a lot easier. Do you want to get out of the way? Do you want to get out of my car? Okay. Okay, so spin it up a lot easier. Still really slow in gear three. I think I've got to take the gear in right down here. It feels pretty stable though. A very stable car. Okay, let's take the gear in. Let's make the gear in a little bit shorter. Uh, I don't think it needs too much more. Um, gearing, gearing, gearing. Yeah, sh a little bit shorter. Uh, let's just go to 4.35. That should be a sh that should be sufficient. Um, that's fine. Let's take the tire pressure in the rear up. Uh, we want to get uh, rid of the grip a little bit. So 31.5 seems. Fine. So let's try this. Shorter gears and more tire pressures in the rear. That should really help. Don't crash into me. Oh my god. Okay, so gear 3 didn't bog down there. I was trying to go quite slow through that corner just to see if it would bog down. But it seems pretty much fine. This car's feeling really stable right now. I had to take it up on the curb then, and that kind of fucked me up. The curbs on this game are surprisingly lethal. Like, curbs on like other games, they don't seem to be lethal, but Horizon 2 have actually took it into effect. 
like what would happen in real life when you go up a curb. They've actually put it in the game, like. Like, no other game actually has. Like, you just bump up curves and it's just like nothing happens. On this, like, curves actually affect you. Okay, so I don't, I don't know what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling a little bit of camber in the front. A little bit more to, to the negative side. Um, I feel like I need a little bit more um, tyre spin in the rear, so... I think in terms of springs and anti-roll bars, etc, I think we're pretty much sorted there. It feels really stable. Um, so... Um, yeah, let's take the tyre pressure up in the front a tiny bit. And let's take it up in the rear as well. Okay, so alignment. Let's just take the camera up it's just a smidge. Uh, just to give it a little bit of a lighter feel in the wheel. Okay, so that should be a lot better now, hopefully. Uh, but what you know, you, I could have just fucked up. I could have made it worse. It feels like it's got the power, which is wicked, wicked. I feel like I've lost the grip in the front. Like Those changes I just made, I think that's actually made it a lot worse. Through the middle. Okay, I hit you. Same thing. Oh my god, why you, why you do this? Okay, that was very stable through there. Like that. Nice transition, like that. On the curb, don't like that. But we're pulling it back round. Into the tight, slow corner. I saw that car coming a mile off, but I still drove into it because I'm an absolute spastic. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know if those changes really help, to be honest. Um, let's just take tyres down in the rear, just just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. And uh, camber up in the front. That, I think it's going to help. And uh, just a tiny bit more camber on the rear. Because, I don't know, it just feels a little bit, little bit grippy in the rear. A little bit too grippy. Uh, we want to be able to slice... Uh, slide pretty nice, especially in tandems. You don't want it to be too grippy in tandems. Okay, that feels a lot better. Okay, nice transition in there. It feels a lot faster now as well. Like, getting rid of grip has actually made the car faster, like my brain. Oh god, car's in the way. <laughs> as soon as I entered, I was like, no, there's like four cars in the way. This is just not happening. Okay, so gear three seems absolutely fine. Here comes the the legendary once an episode rain. That we always have to have. And of course, the car gets a lot more unpredictable in the rain. Uh, so if I start spinning out now, then yeah, it's, yeah, it's the rain. And with dark darkness as well. Oh my god. It took so long to put my lights on. Like, why do why you take so long to do this? Okay, but yeah, I think this car is feeling about spot on right now. Let's take it round the outside. Okay, bog down. Why are you bog down? Why you do this? Uh, so let's make the gear just... Just a smidge, 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 smidge. Hey, well, I don't even know why I went onto there. Um, just a smidge smaller. Uh, shorter, should I say. Um, and I think that should be about it for this tune. Because it's feeling pretty much spot on right now. Uh, it's feeling nicey, nicey, nicey. So let's give it one more run around this section. Pretty short section, but it's a very, very fun section to do. Uh, some long corners. Uh, but the only problem is a lot of traffic. Uh, that is the problem with this section. Okay, so the rain is really affecting the grip right now. I'm not even hardly accelerating. Okay, but I think that's going to be about it. Uh, this tune is actually the spot on right now. Uh, probably a car I'd pull out for tandems, this one. Uh, quite, quite a lot of stability. Quite a lot. It's got the power. Um, it feels pretty much spot on. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment with what car you want to see in the next episode. And basically, 
Peace out.